Another 726 million USTC have been burnt this week, with TFL winding down its operations. More LUNC and USTC burns are expected. LUNC is on a three green weekly arrows with all this bullish news. Burning is bullish for the project, guys. USTC is up as well. Another reason for USTC to be pumping is the USTC repeg plans that we've seen in this weekly LUNC video for you guys. I'll talk about this repeg plans i'll give you an update update with everything that's been happening in the lunc uh, ecosystem including some of the key projects i'm involved in and other projects and also talk about lunc meme coins there could potentially be a huge meme coin opportunity coming up as well we'll discuss that in later on in the video if you enjoyed this content guys do hit that like button and subscribe i try to keep this video 10 15 minutes if you enjoy the content hit that like button and subscribe and make sure you follow me on twitter where i do regular spaces you can come up and ask any questions that you have about LUNC or show your projects if you're building a meme coin or you're building something on LUNC DM myself or LL69 and join the spaces so guys the big news is that burn that we've seen Terra luna classic burns 726 million USTC from anchor protocol and um, so this proposal was put up by the Terra classic community and it was narrowly passed we do we we did burn 726 million USTC, which is great but the execution on the mirror protocol failed so you can expect more 46 million USTC to be burned the proposal to be submitted again developer claims to investigate the reason by behind the failed execution go follow frag and happy catty crypto they've been leading on this and the key important thing is guys we need to burn these as soon as we can cfl will not interact with columbus 5 or phoenix 1 chains after october 31st any token burn or transfer will be difficult po post a court or approved date so we need to get these burns going on so Anchor Mirror Protocol are the two big burns. I've also covered a lot of the other assets in my previous video. If you're interested, go watch those and all the uh, LUNC and USDC that can be burned throughout this, you know, TFL lfg so go watch this video if you want to find the exact numbers we want to see lunc burning but these burns we want to capitalize on these burns guys this is bullish for the project but burning alone doesn't pump price we need to see you know we've seen seven to two six million uh, burn happen for ustc but the price hasn't pumped as much you know the pump happened when there's demand for it as well so if we're like buying back and burning that's what pushes the price up i can talk about that if you let me know in the comment section below if you want me to explain to you how burns and and the impact on the price happens but in 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 simple terms we need to see demand for the project as well burning itself is not really going to help unless we actually have in, have demand hype for the project as well so that's the key news the two repack plans that we've seen i'm going to cover it in 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 in, in i'll summarize it for you guys and i'll link the uh, link the below if you want to go and read it for yourself but i'm not going to read the whole thing guys but to summarize vegas's plan guys vegas is actually you know working on the uh, market module guys so uh, the other repeat proposal is to create a new token so if i just uh, read the key bit create a new token usty usty can be staked for 30 percent of the USTC minted by non mm across protocol non-market module so there's no risk of uh, you know reminting lunc all existing USTC is automatically converted to usty at a rate of one to one usty keep the same contract address as usdc had so all off-chain and sex usdc are automatically supported for the swaps in the code base this is done by swapping U usd for new uustc here bit of a mouthful requires l1 work usty can be swapped back to usdc at one to one when usdc is over 160 percent uh, over collateralized and usty pr uh, price is uh, over one dollar this swap will be the governance activity activated and requires l1 work so that's the idea in summary i have heard some negative things that it was leaked by someone in the team some other team members are not supporting this repeg so i need to you know hold a spaces but i wanted to get this information out because in my opinion guys this is a really good um one of the best repeg plans i've seen and one of the things one of the repeg plans i could see you know we could potentially put into action so i'm going to explore more of this repeg plan let me know in the comment section below if there's something that i've missed i think this is a very promising proposal i've spoke to people like redline and other people they also think 
this is a proposal with some changes could be implemented so i want to see this happen uh, but i do need to delve into some of the team uh, issues that i've heard uh, rumors and and maybe some you know genuine concerns that i've heard about the team so if you know anything let me know in the comment section below but i'll be delving more into it and hopefully in the future videos or spaces i'll discuss in a lot more detail so the vegas plan i am going to speak to vegas so i'm going to keep my opinions to myself for now i have read this guy so he wants to integrate the oracle module that provides real-time price fees for USDC, burn 20% of the fee, allocate 20% for Oracle pool, and designate the remaining 60% to the pool for buyback programs to reinforce the PEG um, add a kill switch so i think that's going to be important. Furthermore, impose hard cap on the max supply of LUNC and USTC with an enhancements proposed by Igor Veras. Uh, there is potential risk, guys. So there's a risk of... Um, um, unwanted link uh, minting addressed through adoption of multi-conditional pool system and reduction of uh, hard caps for both coins so i'm going to speak to him more about this so i've got some queries again this is actually working on the market module so there is a bit of a risk guys you know there's lots of rewards we can talk about the motivations you know lunc uscc swaps is what you know made luna what it was so if we can make it work this is really bullish for lunc but there are risks as well so we'll be talking to vegas in a couple of hours and get his opinion on this but both are very promising proposals and we can see in the price of USDC USDC is taking well to those repay plans um, let's talk about Juris, guys. So it's a project that I'm involved with, with LL69. I wanted to get 150 likes to change my uh, Twitter banner to Juris Protocol. We got 103. So go smash the like buttons if you want me to show Juris. A uh, big update for Juris, is, uh, guys, uh, Juris is that Juris is dealing with all the private sale, raising funds. So devs can be paid and we can finally start building the proposal so go follow l69 he's made the proposal that uh, he's he's made a few updates on this was busy finalizing the legal paperwork for the private sales funding letter of intent with investors gonna be able to show off ninety thousand in corporate bank accounts wallets by monday and his father's also a big investor in the Juris protocol as well. So he's got his family family involved. If you want to back a project, you know, back a project where his family is involved because surely he's not going to rug his dad. So I'm bullish on the project, guys. I did write a long article on this a thread explaining to you what it is, the tokenomics and all that good stuff. One bit thing I want to shout out is the airdrop. There's still seven days left. If you want to get the airdrop, guys, stake some uh, LUNC with the Jewish validator. You get some Jewish uh, coins for free. So you still got seven days. If you, are, if you are interested, go stake some LUNC with the Jewish protocol. And um, so that's a quick update on Juris. We're going to have LL69 on the spaces as well. We'll get some updates. But the key thing to share is... Uh, raising funds and these funds are going to help with potentially adding liquidity growing the project but the key thing is paying dev and hopefully we can have a test net before the end of the year and that is really going to push the price up i'm not even going to share with you the price of euros guys because it's such a long-term project i'm holding my spot bags but if we can have a test net show what we're building i think that's when the real hype is going to start the other uh, project that i'm sort of supporting is terra casino so there's a big update on this i touched on it at the start of the video guys uh, looking forward to helping projects and investors in terra classic by pumping tokens helping those helping us support the luna classic community so i, had to, I posted buying more lunc memes for the pump sir and um, the terra civita is working with terra casino and basically if you can read this yourself guys again i tried to say i want to keep this video to around 10 minutes so i'm cutting through it short let me know if you enjoy longer form content i could maybe do a 20 30 minute video go through all this in a lot more detail but i'm touching on this give you guys a summary and all, all all you need to do is just search for some of the articles that i've shared in this video and you can go read it for yourself but to summarize this guys so terra casino has been burning lunc for a while but i think the burning of lunc hasn't is not causing as much attention as it previously did so could they be supporting uh, some other projects that could help LUNC as well. So let's say there's a project that's building something or a meme coin and Terra Casino buys back and burns their token. That will help with the buy pressure price going up. And what is the biggest marketing in crypto? It's not paying influencers. It's not Elon Musk. It is the price going up. When people see price going up, that's when the big pumps happen. So by drawing attention to projects and trading platforms and Terra Classics such as Coin Hall, Terra Port Finance, this help investors notice other projects and whichever project 
Terrace Vita is going to work on that project will likely the price will likely go up a lot so this is quite exciting guys i'm excited to see how this works and this is will also help terra casino so terra casino i've been you know bringing more attention to terra casino and you know you go use my referral link if you want to support me as well to bring attention to terra casino terra casino is one of the top burners for lunc and those supporting those meme coins will in turn help people potentially use terra casino if you're betting on man city arsenal so i'm a tottenham fan please don't hate me but you know i'm hoping man city wins and i do you know a few hundred quid bets on man city or you know who the goal scorer is i'm a football fan from the uk so you know play fantasy premier league and all that cool stuff so you know i'm betting on man city to beat arsenal and rather than losing my money in a bet 365 account or a, or a, a betting company why don't i burn some lunc as well so that's why guys i'm really excited to see how this works um i think it's going to be really bullish if terra casino is buying this low liquidity coins and burning them the price could easily 10x and 100x so keep an eye out guys go follow terra casino i'll be covering this news as well and we'll, we'll ask rexy he's going to be coming onto our spaces later on today we'll talk to him as well so that's 11 minutes guys i tried to keep it to 10 minutes i've gone slightly over hope you enjoyed the content if you have any questions comment below every week guys i have these videos hopefully next week i'll be able to share my opinion more on the USTC. Maybe if you're interested, I'll do a longer content where I go into detail, share my full opinion on what I think about the replays once I've done and spoken to some of the key people behind the proposals. So thank you very much. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. I almost uh, ended the video without talking about the price, but there's not too much to talk about the price. Key thing is this support. If Bitcoin breaks below 60K, we get a dip. I bought some Lunk here. I look to buy here. If not, I want to see big trend change above there. If not, it's just chop. If we can get the burns going, get the repeg plan going, I expect Lunk to break out here. And I don't think this will be the target. I think we're going to go around here if we can get any momentum in the USCC repeg plans. Okay, guys, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next week with another Lunk weekly update.